hello collective welcome back to my channel thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment follow subscribe share do whatever it is your spirit is leading you to do i appreciate it if your spirit does not lead you to do anything but watch go ahead and do that as well so let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on very happy to be back doing my videos um the devil has been busy but honey so it has the bulls high and let's go ahead and get started so we have someone here that is trapped within either a marriage an organization a quote something is going on here it's almost as though someone was paid or hired to do something to another person um, this could be someone that works for like a devilish energy. So this is someone pulling strings from behind the scene. This is someone with a lot of influence in their community, on their community. It could be like a business owner, someone that maybe uh, is a first generation business owner, something of that nature. This is someone of a mature age, mature character, possibly in their 60s. 70s but this man is more so of a devilish energy this is someone and i think this is because and i'm not saying devilish energy as if to say this is someone that is you know not worthy of the love of god or something like that what i'm saying is that this is someone that lives in fear this person has allowed fear to take a hold of them so when they do things and give order orders they are doing those types of things out of fear so they will try to hold other people back out of fear. They will withhold resources from people out of fear. They will withhold opportunities from other people out of fear. Okay, so this some this this person is working from behind the scenes, giving orders. He may have one specific person that he has on some type of task, mission, purpose at the moment. It's like he has a lot of different minions. And it, it is not just in the organization that he runs. This is like a whole city thing where he has people in a city coming after someone trying to prevent some type of union, some type of coming together. It could be business related, position related, but he is trying to withhold some type of opportunity from making it to someone. There is someone that works for this devilish energy. Um, and he is coming to the realization that he is doing something wrong like the purpose of this masculine this devilish energy hiring him it's not really making sense but this person that's doing the job is trapped in this organization trapped with this person or this is how they feel that they are trapped right so you've been part of something for so long there are financial benefits to it um so you are kind of obligated to do what it is they're telling you to do but you feel trapped but really you're not trapped it is in your mind your mental is what's trapping you there and this is because you have formed some type of attachment to the financial benefits that you are getting from the collaboration the connection with this person or this institution so you feel like you are forced to do it when you really are not we all have free will people tend to forget that it doesn't matter who's telling you what to do why you are doing what it is you're doing we all have free will none of us are ever so far away that we cannot turn back and make things right in our lives not just for ourselves but for the other people um, we are in connections to right so this person is doing all of this dirty work carrying out all, the, all of this man's uh, uh plans and things like that attacks on someone is finding out that some the person that he has been hired to come after may be like a soul twin he may have like a contract with this person. They could be like twin flames, whatever that is. He has some type of genuine connection with this person. So this will mean that either you two had some type of interaction before. You two may have worked together. You two may have gone to school together, went to church together. But with what's going on here, I highly doubt it has anything to do with church. I think this is more so like a work relationship or something like that, right? So this person feels like they are they are going, working against themselves because they're realizing that they are working against their twin flame, their soul twin, or this person that they have this strong, genuine connection with. The person doing all of this heinous work behind the scenes is realizing that their new beginning is with this person. It is with this soul twin, right? And they know that 
the connection with this person, man or woman, can get them out of this toxic situation. This is their brand new passionate beginning to leave toxicity behind, to have a new fresh perspective on life, being able to see things from a higher perspective, being able to operate from your emotions, not just your mental. Because when you live a lifestyle like this, you have to be void of emotions because some of the things you do will haunt you forever. So you kind of have to learn how to shut your emotions down. The connection with this woman or man is going to help this person get back to who they are, who they're meant to be. Naturally, this person that's doing all of this work is someone of high moral character, but they've been surrounded by malicious people for so long, by dark people for so long, that they have kind of gotten stuck in their mindset where they think that this is this is just another day. This is just what I'm this is just my job, right? So that is the problem. There was something done to take finances from this energy that he is attacking. Um this person may be living in poverty because of actions that were taken by taking up behind the scenes by a group of people. Maybe this masculine was not aware, but I highly doubt it. If you are being hired to do something of this magnitude, that means that you were aware, right? So whatever it is they did in the past or are doing is meant to keep this person in financial like. Like they're supposed to be begging for stability, begging for resources going out to food pantries and things of that nature. And this is not someone that's meant to live in that type of energy, right? But there's something about this man or woman because they're an empress. As soon as I said something about this man or woman, my eye went to the empress. So this person is an empress and this is intimidating to a lot of people uh, that are in this organization or in this group, whatever the setting is, they are intimidated by this woman because this is someone that is balanced. This is someone not just beautiful, but very well uh, educated, someone very smart, intelligent, hardworking, committed to what they do, someone nurturing as well, someone that takes things one day at a time, very much balanced in who they are, assertive in who they are. They don't tear other people down. Empresses don't feel the need to steal from other people, take from other people in order, in order to elevate, because in that sense, you're not really elevating you are just kind of uh, stealing from other people. If you have to steal it in order to have it, it is not a blessing, it is a curse, okay? So um, this person may want to have a brand new passionate beginning with you, whoever this reading is in regards to. They may want to give you some type of financial payout. This person is going back and forth as well about this decision because they know this is a very big move to be coming towards you with how things started already. Things didn't really start in a good way between the two of you. This person could have did something in the past with some of you that you were not very much fond of. And so you may not even want to see this person, not want to have anything to do with them. They may want to give you some type of business opportunity. Um, there's just a whole lot going on here for a lot of you. So some of you, it has to do with a business opportunity someone wants to give you. For others of you, there's a financial payout that's supposed to come from an institution. For others, others of you, it is a legacy, some type of inheritance that was supposed to be given to you, but someone is doing something behind the scenes to block you and prevent you from getting a hold of this uh, abundance, this blessing, and it is very much meant for you. This is part of your soul contract. Um, you're going through uh you who this reading is in regards to you are going through some financial struggles right now you're having to live from paycheck to paycheck having to kind of budget really hard you may be living in kind of fear anxiousness and not really knowing how things are going to uh, uh, kind of unfold so you have a bit of an anxiety going on you have you're like pinching money right now is what i'm seeing um for this masculine or this feminine energy that's working behind the scene they are trapped in some type of union that they don't want to be a part of because they're realizing that this is a very toxic union okay so for some of you this masculine is just in an unhappy marriage he's stuck with some type of jesse bell a gold digger whatever it is we want to call them but this is someone extremely low vibrational this is not someone that speaks to the light within this masculine or this feminine right this is someone that brings the worst out of this person and this is because the whoever they are married to is just far gone. This low vibrational energy is just far 
gone. They depend on negativity in order to thrive. And that should be kind of alarming when you have to depend on negativity that you get off on seeing other people hurt. You get off on seeing other people being uh, messed with, tortured, unhappy, poor, and things like that. That is a problem. There's a lot of addictions going on in here. Um, I try not to use that word because YouTube is kind of sensitive about a lot of things. So I'm going to be using additions. There's a lot of additions going on here. Drink heavily drinking, a lot of different uh, substances going on that are being used. There's something of a black magic going on as well. Someone may have an altar of uh, where they put pictures of other people or like voodoo dolls for some of you. Um, and they are doing things to these voodoo dolls that are supposed to cause you harm, but it's not working because it was never intended to work. Um, so it is just an interesting situation for a lot of you. Someone may have gone to a high priestess to get the truth about a situation because a group of people may have come together or this person that is uh, masculine is married to may have told him a lot of lies and things like that. Or maybe his friends and families may have told him a lot of lies about you and uh, enable this masculine or encourage this masculine to go with a different option. And he found out that that was not the best option for him. Um, so he may have gone to a high priestess to get the truth about the situation, to get the truth about you, which is enabling him to move on with his life. Okay. He's realizing that the people around him cannot be trusted. And this high priestess that he went to is someone legit. Because I see uh, the six of swords coming on after here after um her, this means that whatever it is she told him enabled him to make a decision to move forward. Okay, to leave these people behind him because he knows none of them have any type of good intentions for him, and whatever it is that he has been doing to you is only causing him losses in life as well. He may be experiencing some type of financial loss, financial insecurities, or this is just that he went and paid a high priestess to get the truth for some of you, okay? Um, there is some type of blockage that is going on here. This is what these people were doing. They are trying to block this masculine from coming towards you. They're fighting amongst themselves. This is what karmics do. They're always fighting. I don't know if these people don't get tired of fighting. It's exhausting. Honey, just arguing with people is exhausting, so I can't imagine doing it every day. It's exhausting. But these people are experiencing conflicts among, amongst each other. They may have, you know, collaborated together, telling a story. It's like, you know, they all have a plan to kind of hold someone back, stagnate someone because they know you're someone that's meant to be abundant in life. Um, so they come together, come up with a, a, a plan, a lie. And they all tell this lie repeatedly over and over and over and over. Uh, just to get this masculine to see you in a light that is not fading, right? That is not true. So it is that people see you, they're intimidated by you because you're a powerhouse. And because you're a powerhouse and they cannot compare to you, they come up with a plan to take you down. So they start telling this masculine that you're a liar, you're a cheat, you're a homewrecker, you're a this, you're a dad, um, you're loose. All kinds of things, right? Some people may have even say you did things to them when you never did anything to these people, but was kind to them for a lot of you. So the truth has come out now. This masculine, because he went out and found the truth out for himself, these people are pissed off. It's kind of like, well, why don't you trust us? We're your family, we're your friends. Why wouldn't you believe what we told you? And it's because something just was not adding up for this masculine. That's why he went to see this high priestess. It's like two and two just were not adding up together. And it is because these people will say one thing about you and then the masculine will look at you and they say, well, something just is not right here. Like they're telling me she's all this. She's mean. She's a narcissist. She's egotistical. She's nasty with people who doesn't take care of herself. But when I see this person, she always smells good. She's nice to people. She always says good morning. She's, you know, very hardworking, seems to be committed to what it is that she wants. She's very passionate about life. Things are not adding up. So that's why he went to this high priestess to get the truth about you in order to make his decision and move forward. This masculine may want to build a family with you. Maybe this is something, maybe he's had a family in the past, right? But it was not an ideal family setting. Like there was no peace in the family. There was no coming together. Maybe maybe they were all even like really against each other. Maybe the, the mother may have, you know, uh, groomed the children to be mean to the parent or 
to the father or vice versa, but there's some type of toxicity going on in the family that has to do with this masculine. It's not really a close-knit family. It seems to be very toxic, and this is because of things that the mother does um, behind the scenes, and even sometimes in front of him as well. So for some of you, the masculine that's coming towards you it's coming out of a very toxic situation and you're going to have to have patience with this person if you decide to work with them. For others of you, this is a masculine that is extremely successful in business. So this is someone business minded and they want to work with you. They know that they can succeed with you. Um, so you're going to kind of be like the person managing a lot of different businesses for this person or you two will be working together. This person may like open a business with you just so that they can have some type of solid connection with you. This is their way of showing you that they are committed to you uh, and they want to have longevity with you. So this is why they want to have something on papers, right? So uh, that's that for some of you. Whatever this, this group was doing behind the scenes, all of the hard work they were putting in to block you, block your forward movement, block your finances, just block you overall has been illuminated. The truth is being seen. The truth has been spoken. It's like these people were doing things behind the scenes to block your business, block your voice and things like that. But you know, the, the terror community is a large community. So no matter who it is you're blocking there is someone else that's going to pick up on the message there are other people that will pick up on the message and if multiple readers are picking up on the same energy you know there's something to it right so it's quite possible this masculine could have been hearing the same messages over and over from watching terror videos and things like that and he would say you know what i need to go find the truth out for myself so he went ahead and did just that with this beautiful high priestess that kept it 100 with him so that he could make a decision to move on, leave these people behind, still on the calmer waters because the BS just was not adding up, right? This is someone that may be waiting to hear from you or waiting for an adequate time to come towards you. So if this masculine is actively coming towards you, that means that these are people in the background still collaborating with one another, still planning, still coming up with plans to block some type of forward movement. They are very much determined to block this union, this collaboration from coming together because they don't want to see you living in this energy, even though naturally you're already an empress. People tend to think, you know, people that are superficial, so people that are dark, they think being an empress means having designers, having a lot of money, having the latest car, the latest clothes. True empresses, the, what makes you an empress is your relationship with the divine, how you treat people, how you carry yourself, how you talk to yourself and how you talk to other people, just your character overall, right? That is what makes you an empress at the end of the day. All of the other fancy things, how much money you have in your bank account, all of that has nothing to do with what an empress is. Um, Someone in this group is extremely bothered by the things that you do, you say, you the empress. Someone is extremely bothered by you. Your, your privacy may have been invaded for a long time and you didn't know. It's like, even if you do like content online, the meaning, the meaning you uh, open your camera to record, there is someone listening to you. And then they get pissed off when you pick up on their energy and post it online if you're a terror reader. It's just petty things like that, insecure and immature things like that people have been doing behind the scenes. And they do this to discredit you. So it's that someone comes and sees what it is you're recording, just so they can go and say, see, I told you she's not gifted. Like, she's just making stuff up. She's uh, illegit. She's not legit. Things like that, right? And this masculine is seeing the truth for what it is. Um, so this person has plans to come towards you. This person is, is taking charge of their life, right? He's putting boundaries into place. He's sticking to those boundaries. He's setting the law for himself. He's realizing like the energy that he needs to be in. He's going to show up in your life in this energy as the emperor because he wants to have success with you and things of that nature. Um, for some of you, be mindful. There is an empress in, uh, not an empress, an emperor in here that wants to come towards you, but this person was collaborating with this family to cause you an ending. 
to cause you some type of mental conflict, to make it, make it hard for you to make some type of decision. And this decision is in regards to a financial opportunity, a business, a job position, an empire. They want to come in to pretend like they are your soul twin. They are here to give you wish fulfillment. They're here to love on you, make your dreams come true, build a life with you, things of that nature, just to cause you conflict. Okay, so be mindful with any new energy coming into your life. It is not forced for you to be with anyone you are not 100% certain about. So thread lightly, thread with caution with anyone coming towards you. Okay, um, even if you come into abundance and things like that, it's not forced for you to get married. You can have a beautiful relationship with a masculine without you two being married, right? You two just being committed to one another. Um, but someone wants to come in here to give you some type of financial opportunity and things like that make it seem like they want to build with you. Um, this is someone extremely superficial. So just be mindful. And they're coming in to do this to break your heart. Um, for some of you, this masculine is realizing that you are wish fulfillment. It's like his family came together to do some type of magic on him. And this was to cause an illusion on him or to him telling him that you are all of these disgusting things that you are not only for him to find out that you are his dream come true you are his wish fulfillment you are a powerhouse what he has been looking for for a long time so now he's heartbroken because of what it is he did to you he knows now that you are an empress he knows that he caused you heartbreak and he's disappointed in himself things of things like that but he knows the truth about you now. You're someone very abundant, someone gifted. He may be a uh, real. He may be having a lot of regrets and things like that. Okay. So for some of you, that's what's going on. I'm gonna get back to this emperor that is coming in to cause some type of illusion for someone. This is not an emperor that is in the upright. This is someone that is being paid. Or for some of you, this could be that initial devilish energy that's paying people behind the scenes collaborating with people behind the scenes, a whole family of people to come together and cause you some type of laws. It is crazy how committed these people are. And if they are going to this extent to cause you a loss, that means that this blessing is extremely large. This is something that's going to change your life, change the trajectory of your life, and they don't want you having a hold of this. These people are very much committed. These people meet up about you. Can you imagine being the hot topic of a whole group of people every day? Like they just go to work, they talk about you, they go home, they talk about you. They